discussing the orchim, guests, and lighting Shabbat candles. What's the halakha pertaining to someone who is residing by someone else and sleeping there for Shabbat? So it's actually a very interesting halakha, a very important halakha. The most classic example would be, let's say, a young couple, or not even a young couple, any couple that's sleeping by their parents for Shabbat. Obviously, it goes without saying that the daughter or the daughter-in-law, whichever one it is, she can't light with the beracha in this dining room because the mother, the household mother, the emabait, she has priority. And when she makes the beracha in that dining room, she covers the entire quote-unquote house. So what can she do? What can the daughter or daughter-in-law that's sleeping in that house for Shabbat, how, how does she proceed? So if the family gives this couple or, this, or, the, or her, her, children, her in-laws a specific designated room where they, the other siblings move out, they, they partner up, and this, this couple has a specific room that they sleep in upstairs, in the basement, wherever it is, so a designated cheder for them to sleep in on Shabbat, then the halakha will be that she, they, they should, the, the kalat should light with the beracha in their bedroom. Why? Because the bedroom is considered like their, their domain, their place, and therefore there is an aspect of Shalom Bayit that still exists there. So she lights with the Beracha, making sure that there's enough oil or enough wax to last until when they want to get to bed, go to sleep later that evening. Now, if you're scared to use any fire in the bedroom, and it's a, it's a valid fear, Rabbi Chaim would actually say, you don't even have to light a fire upstairs, just make a Beracha on the closet, with the, with the electricity, LED or not, before Shabbat, you make the bracha, you light the, light, the, light the closet light, and that closet light will be on when you get to bed, and that's how you fulfill the mitzvah of Hadlakat Nero Shabbat as a guest. Now, uh, what about if uh, you're, 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 someone is sleeping by their in-laws or something, and their spouse is out of town? Then in that case, even if, if, she, if he or she has their own designated room, she still has to light... Uh, in, their, in that room that they're sleeping in with the Beracha. The only situation that you wouldn't light is if they're sleeping by the guest, they're, in, by, by, they're sleeping by someone, and there's no designated room, meaning either the, the, the one spouse or the other spouse is sleeping with the other siblings, and it's not like they have their own private place. In that situation, she cannot light with the Beracha downstairs in the dining hall, or she cannot neither light with the Beracha in the bedroom because it's not specifically theirs, what, what, would, what would that couple have to do? They would have to be metzaref b'prutaz, what the Lashon of the Gemara is, or the Halakha says, or in modern day terms, the balabait, the homeowner, should makne, uh, should give them a portion, gift them a portion of the main Shabbat candles and have them in mind when they light their Shabbat candles in the dining hall. And that's how, feel oblig- that's how they feel the obligation of Shabbat candles when they don't have a designated place for their own uh, for their own place to sleep. Uh, yeah? Oh, so if you're going to someone's house Friday night, you're going to end up sleeping at home. There's a few options. Either uh, if you don't want to leave any fire home on at home without anyone there, you can obviously light at home with uh, electricity. Rabbi Chaim says that also counts. Or you get to that place where you're dining before Shabbat. You hear the homeowner make the beracha and light with her right afterwards. So you fulfill your obligation of Shomel Kaone and you're lighting Shabbat candles there also. Or you light at home and make sure there's enough oil in a safe place by the kitchen, in the sink, wherever it is. So God forbid there's no fire. Make sure, there's, make sure there's enough oil that when you get back home to sleep, you, their lights are still on and you can benefit from the Shabbat candles. Yeah, yeah. If you're lighting with the Balabait, no beracha. That's according to the Svaradim who don't make a beracha on extra light. Chazak Baruch.